Welcome back to another episode. So today we've got a couple, quite a lot of important tips today. Uh, it's tournament, so we're going to enter the tournament and ask some tips about that. I uh, did have a couple questions in the last video, so I'll answer them today as well. So first of all, uh, tournaments every Wednesdays and Sundays. Uh, so we're going to join the tournament. It doesn't really matter like when or, or how you join the tournament. It's, it's when you join the tournament, it's what you do afterwards. So when you join the tournament, there's uh, tournaments last 24 hours. There's normally a four hour joining window. So once you join, as you can see it's counted down for 24 hours but sometimes you might be a bit lower than that now there's a four hour joining window so anything up to the 20th hour people can still join after the 20th hour whoever's in the tournament is locked in so say for example there's one two three four five there's six of us in the tournament when it gets to 1959 if there's no more people that's it six people will be in the tournament so up to the 20th hour people can still join after that, it's locked, just to let you know. And then you've got 20 hours um, to basically push as hard as you can. Now, for a couple of tips, when you join the tournament, I would only buy artifacts or really push as hard as you can um, during the tournament. Now, when you first start, the first day or so, because at the moment I'm stage 500, 600, it doesn't matter too much because you're pushing kind of in and out anyway. Um, but when you start getting to 1,000, 2,000 onward stages, I would definitely recommend only pushing the tournament. So stuff like um, buying pets, um, buying artifacts, facts should be done in tournaments only because that increases the chance of you getting first place the reason you want to get first place is because that's where the most prizes you can get as a free to play player so if you want to get stuff like loads of pets loads of uh, shards loads of points loads of diamonds then you need to get first place and the best way to do so is use your pushing potential in tournaments only plus it will stop you from hitting a wall i mean if you're pushing constantly like all the time you're going to hit a wall you're going to start hitting walls and you won't be able to progress any further and you get frustrated and you quit the game so make it more enjoyable for yourself outside of tournaments you you can level up your artifacts if you wish. Um, you can level up your books of shadows. If you've got books of shadows, that's the most important one. Uh, and you can do your raiding and or, or, or going up to your max stage and then obviously prestiging. Um, those are the main things, but as long as you don't buy new artifacts uh, until you start the tournament, that's probably the best, best advice you can get. So once you join the tournament, I'm literally going to do that. I'm going to be pushing as hard as I can. I'm just going to use the mana efficiency method for my spells. And that basically means first I'll level up all my heroes. Uh, then I'll, level, um, I'll unlock one spell, wait till it runs out, then unlock another spell and wait till that runs out and, and just keep rinse and repeating. Uh, that makes my mana last a little bit longer. Uh, instead of just getting them all at once and just wasting it. So for example, look, I'll unlock there. You can go that little run. Wait, so that runs out after 30 seconds and then go for the next one. I'm just going to quickly look at my um, equipment while we wait. One, what else we've got here? Ranger, Ranger, Warrior. Warrior is not as high. Uh, all gold, all gold two, five chest. Chest is quite good. Dagger damage. I still haven't got um, clan ship equipment, which I would really like. Uh, it says to use Doom for a, a, um, a milestone, so I'm going to do that. And also help me push in this in this tournament as well. So that that milestone has been clicked, collected. You want to collect all these prizes. Use mana potion. Oh, a new pet as well. Cool. Uh, so mana potion. Where is that? Let's have a look. Up here. Just use one of these to get the next milestone. I know you got to go to stage six fifty, which we will do in a second. So we can get to stage six fifty. Um, someone asked a question in the comments in the last video. Uh, pets. Uh, they've been heard hearing the term. Uh, equip your lowest level pet um, for better efficiency. So the way pets work is up until level five, you, uh, when the pets get to level five, um, they can get passive abilities. Anything below that, there's no points. So you see, they, there's zero passives. So anything over level five, sometimes uh, equipped in a lower level pet might work out because the passive of the higher level pet might be stronger. So say, for example, uh, let's have a look. Uh, I haven't really got enough... Uh, um, pets unlocked to really show you but say um, okay say we had two all hero damages and uh, all hero damage is here and soot was an all hero damage it might work out that equipped in level three soot might give me um, the passive on the higher 
on Toto might be a lot better than the active on this lower level soot. So that's why if it's the same sort of type, you go for the lower level one. The best way to find out is just click on it. And for example, like if I look at this one and it says all hero damage to that, I equipped another one and look at my passive to see if there's any difference. And then, and then look at the combination of the two. So that's what it means. And another way to find out is that if you look at your damage meters, which are up here, there's attack damage, there's um, your current DPS, hero DPS, and heavy, well, that's the current one you've got equipped for your um, main attack build. But you can look at those as well. You can also look at uh, the pet damage that's up here. So you can see when you equip that, that changes stats up top there. But the easiest one is just equip one that's the same type. So is it all gold? I haven't got another all gold. When I've collected more pets, I'll do another guide to uh, explain a bit more about which is the highest level pet and lower level pet. But at the moment, is you don't have to worry about this low level. You just want to collect as much pets as you can. Uh, now that I've joined the tournament, I'm inside the tournament, I am actually going to buy some more pets. Because as I mentioned before, uh, that's what you want to be doing inside tournaments only. So I'm going to do all gold. That's a good one. Sword primary is still a good one. Prestige gold is okay. I want to do a bit of splash damage. I want to buy that one as well. Do you know what? I might get all of them, to be honest. I haven't got enough for that one. Next milestone, thank you very much. Oh, got equipment item. Let's have a look at this one. Which one's this equipment item? Uh, gunblade damage, don't need that. I need clan ship. What's I've got another one as well. Rare one, which one's this one? All damage that's higher. So we're gonna equip that, make sure it's locked. You always lock up your items you want to keep, sell so the rest. And let's look at the pets. Uh, splash damage high, all hero damage, and all gold all damage so for example like this one all hero damage because i've got a, a clan ship build i might do all hero but then all damage might work out better for me so all hero damage is 1.15 but if i do that one is 3.15 so if i look at my damage attack damage is 1.46 and I click on that it's uh, 1.6 so just look at it look at the stats numbers and see which one works better for you i'm literally just collecting everything now to push as much as i possibly can so let's unlock some more. I'm going to unlock. Oh, need lock, unlock the wrong one then. Warcry. Oosh. And we've got more heroes to unlock as well. I'm, I'm going to unlock, uh, make it rain. So this levels up automatically because I don't have enough. If I've got make it rain, I have got make it rain. Awesome. Because it saves me having to click on heroes all the time. Because I can be a bit tedious. So let's have a look. I've got anything new there. Nope. All right. So this has got a timer now, auto buy. So it will start on leveling these up for me, which will save me a bit of time. So the equipment, uh, crafting has been unlocked now. So you go to crafting, use these crafting shards, which you can collect by daily login uh, tournaments. You can get them from chests, but I wouldn't recommend buying chests just yet. I'll use your diamonds just for pets for the moment. Now these sets, if you get complete sets, there's mythic, legendary, rare and event. I would never buy rare and events. These drop, drop quite frequently anyway. And you get these from events that you um, do from the badge events. Let's have a look. Like this one you get these from events here anyway so i wouldn't i honestly wouldn't purchase anything else apart from mythic or legendaries now the first one you should get as a mythic uh if you're doing clan ship build which is what i recommend for starter um which should be uh ancient warrior mythic set and there's a relic multiplier on here somewhere that you should get for legendary these are two primarily one primary ones you should get straight away i always get the um relic multiplier one first Let me, where, where, where was it again because obviously you want more relics you can get more artifacts so you can level them up so you can level up in general a lot faster uh where is it where is it where is it prestige goal snap chance portal chance multiplier splash mana refund titan chest and critical multiple inactive pet school mana capacity all goals oh, it's at the top i went past it uh, where is it? Where is it? Ah, uh, 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 that was it. it. It was immaculate something. Um, toilet boost, no, it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And special times or 
Yeah, it was. Uh, I was saying, is it Immaculate? It is. Immaculate Arbiter. So Immaculate Arbiter gives you 1.5 prestige relic bonus and toilet bonus. Toilet bonus does not really matter, but it's the prestige bonus is what we want. So you want to get the full set of this first. Uh, and when you get the items, make sure you're at the highest level you can possibly be. Um, so make sure you've pushed to your absolute max first before getting it because these equipment items level with your stages so for example um say i'm at stage 700 now it will give me 1.562 critical damage but then if i was at stage um 800 it'll give me a much higher level so always get these once you've done the highest push you could do so once you've reached your max um and then you're about to prestige then get that to get that item so I'll watch the adverts so I can get this item. Every time there's an uh, item you can collect from the adverts, I always guess it because it is uh, it's worth it. Let's have a look. We've got all damage, yet much more higher. Thank you very much. Let's get rid of that. Let's get more diamonds. Thank you. What else have we got? Achievements. Yeah, you want to collect all these, see if we can get another pet. Thank you. Thank you. And what we've we got is dailies. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna. Actually, what can we discover here? Oh, I've got one more of them. I wonder what. Actually, I will. I will get an artifact because I want to see what the next one is. So, what's the next one? Um, no. So, I haven't got books of shadows yet. So, these are the next ten I can collect. So, I must. Oh man, I'm getting bad luck. I don't know if it's random or set order because uh, it's been a while. But it seems uh, next collection, look, Books of Shadows, currently collecting. So after collect these 10, then I have Books of Shadows in this last collection. So you want to get that ASAP. Um, so hopefully I'll get it good. My light's flickering. I do apologize for that. I'm just going to have might be occurring a power cut soon. Oh, no. Um, so I want to be, yeah, I, I want to show you about, because I've got these artifacts so far. I've got 49 artifacts. I'm going to show you how to use the artifact optimizer. So I've given you some general tips about tournaments and pets. Now it's a big one, guys. Artifact optimizer. Now this this thing here, this thing here, which is called uh, the Compidium Artifact Optimizer tool. So it's on the Compidium website. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Um, so you basically fill in the left side first and then you tick which ones you have and haven't got on the right side. And then you just follow up the percentage or the ideal level you have. And that's it, it's pretty simple. So lifetime relics, you can find your lifetime relics by going on your hero page, which is this one. Go to stats, so this is your stats panel. So hero at the top where it says stats. Uh, go all the way to the bottom and it will say, uh, where is it? Uh, right here somewhere, lifetime relics. Or I, oh, actually, I've moved it to the top. It's been a while since I've looked at this. Or is it highest prestige? Uh, gold urn, prestigious day, relics earned, there is. So relics earned is your lifetime relics. So my relics earned here, which is under career stats, uh, relics earned is 3.23K. That's the amount of relics I've earned in my whole lifetime, 3.23K. So I'll put that in. Um, your lifetime relics is too low for your base or level of artifacts earned. Okay, 3.23, uh, it's just 3,000, then it's going to be 3,000... 3.231. Is that still too low? Oh, it's too low to use at the moment. Artifacts. Oh, it's because artifacts discovered a 14. Let's try that. There we go. Um, your lifetime relics too low based on your BS level or burst or artifacts owned. Because I haven't got art uh, because I haven't got artifacts. Artifact salvage zero. Enchantment artifacts zero. Ascension zero. Oh, is it, am I quite am I too low? Uh, last hero needs to be a correct value. Okay, no, it should be fine. Okay, so uh, it's just because the numbers were too high at the moment. For a second now, I thought, oh no, I couldn't use it. So lifetime relics, 3.23k, that matches. Uh, artifacts discovered, again, just, well, that's on the artifact tab. As you can see, it's 14 out of 103, so I'll put 14. Artifacts salvaged, have I salvaged any? Um, no, I have not, and I would never salvage any artifacts because you would have. Oh, actually, I clicked up accident. Oops. So you can salvage like that. I will never salvage any artifacts. Um, the reason being is because you have to get all artifacts to start enchantment anyway. 
um, so you have to buy it back. It's a waste of diamonds. You can use diamonds for better things like buying pets and stuff. Um, so really is absolutely no point to salvage or never do it. Enchantments owned. You can only enchant once you've got all the artifacts we haven't got. I'll be using the clan ship build. The last hero is the highest hero you have when those spells are activated. So my highest hero is Wally. So I checked Wally at the moment. Where is Wally, Wally, Wally? Uh, probably near down here. There you go, Wally's there. Ascension Zero. Uh, when you got all the heroes, you start going to the next level. The banner around the heroes start changing colour. They haven't at the moment. I think it's uh, blue, green, gold or something like that. It's been a while. Um, so we haven't got any Ascensions. Split Hero uh, is a ground flying all. Which one's Wally? He's a ground type because he's got a rock there. So uh, we'll split ground. Gold Source. We'll do Fairy for now. I haven't actually got Fairy in there, so I could put none. But I'll put Fairy for now. Uh, uh, BOS, zero, because I haven't got BOS at the moment. Uh, you want to use 100% of our relics to level up this side. Drendel push, yes, because you want we want to push. Lesser notation, no, because I want to use, I'm using scientific notation. Round and leave it in the hide, exclude artifacts, no. So we can leave all that. So now we've got to go to the artifacts panel to see what we have. We've got Heroes Blades. So you want to put pretty much no on all of them because we haven't got actually is it is a quick button disable artifacts so just click disable artifacts because we're not using any of them so starting from top we just got to find out the 14 ones we have and go down each one so here is break blade uh is there hp you look at you can look at the um, picture because it match or you just hover your icon over it and it'll tell you anyway so there you go here blades you want that uh what else we got we've got influential lecture and that one it will always be in order so the next one corrupt rune heart will always be um, going down one. Uh, where is it? Uh, let's move this to the side a bit. It'll be a bit easier. Uh, corrupted Rune Heart is that one. Oh, uh, that one. Thank you. Let's, let's squish together so I can see it a bit better. There we go. Uh, Durandal Sword is that one. Uh, Helm Skull is that one. Lost something. My Bob. Where is he? A bit further down. Oh, he's not on there because it's a lifetime relic. Okay, I'll explain about these three. So if uh, a lifetime, um, I say lifetime relic, it's the wrong word to use. Um, quality of life artifact. Okay, so these ones, as you can see, don't have a number next to them. These do. So that means these cap out, these max out. So that's one out of 40. This will max out of 40. Uh, this, this will keep on leveling. I don't know if there is a max, if it's like 9999, but they don't at the moment I'm aware of have a max. Um, so these ones max out level 40 these will not be on the artifact guide the reason being they're not on the list is because you max them out as soon as you get them you can max them out um, whenever you can so there's really no, no point so what it's telling me now is telling me what level it should be on and the percentage of the um, lifetime relics so lifetime relics should be 19 i have not got 0 0.19 that's because it's at level two so it says in here that this one should really uh, be at level nine so that's why i should level this up um, so put that to nine and the one above it should be at nine as well and that's it you literally match to what it says on here so that should be Oh, oh, I did the wrong one. It's two. So that should be zero. That's two. That's why there might be a bit difference. So you can see I've run out of um, relics. The reason being is because it that has to be matching exactly to that. If you've leveled up previously, doesn't matter. Just prestige and keep leveling up and eventually it will start matching. Uh, so it doesn't matter too much. So like this one says it should be um, 13. So I need to put more relics into this one so essentially i'll basically prestige get more relics and level up until all these start matching this and that's it that's the artifact optimizer i will put a link to this in the uh description of the video and again if you've got any questions about it i can get it, i can go in more depth i have done a full depth guide of using these tools i still can find that video i did it last year i'll link that below because that goes in much more depth but essentially you just copy in all the fill in all the blue boxes these bits you can at the bottom you can miss really it's just your lifetime relics amount of artifacts you have what build you have what hero you have and just copying ticking which artifacts you have and then matching the level number that it is that's it it's very simple that's why i use this tool 
very simple tool um so i hope that helps uh, apart from that i'm just pushing now pushing as far as i possibly can in this tournament and then i'm going to prestige and then push some more and that will get me first place uh, because I'm only using the, I'm only buying artifacts and leveling them up in the tournament only. So what we've we got there, Gunblade, no thank you very much, all gold, yes thank you sir. So I'm going to equip that, unlock that. What else have we got? We've got uh, Helmet Effect, thank you very much. And you've still got the card thing, Lights, Camera, Action. Um, and what's that, Dagger Damage, nope, I need to get Clan Ship item, okay. Let's level up a spell some more so we can get some more mana, thank you. And then push more. I wonder what stage I can get up to. Probably 900 today. Let's see if I can hit the 1k mark. We'll find out. We'll find out if we can hit the 1k. That would be quite nice. Uh, let me know how you're getting in on in today's tournament. I would like to know how uh, how you guys are getting on. If these videos are helping. If there's anything specific you'd like to know. If you've got any questions for me. As always, leave a comment below. And uh, I'll try my best to answer them in the following video. So that's what I've been trying to do. I read all your comments. I try to reply to everyone's comment every single day to give you the best guidance I can provide. Um, so the best way to contact is just leave a comment. Uh, I've also got a Discord in my description. So if you want to get a bit more detailed, um, you can pop in there as well. So that, that's it. I hope you enjoyed your day and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.